The AED is an automated external defibrillator. It offers electricity to the heart muscle when it's in chaos, when it's in cardiac arrest. It shocks, stuns and hopefully restarts the heart. If it's applied quickly, it's more likely to be effective. You can find them in all sorts of different places these days, in shops, in train stations, even in the boots of some people's cars. So it's important to be comfortable and confident if you do have to use it. They are quite simple to use because you just follow the instructions. As you open the lid, it'll tell you exactly what to do, but it's important that the instructions are followed very closely. It's important if somebody collapses in cardiac arrest that we approach with safety. Danger is the first thing to consider whenever there's a situation. In this circumstance, it is safe to approach, so we're going to approach and check the patient's response levels, their airway, their breathing, and the circulation. Open your, open your eyes. There is no response to either voice or pain, so we continue to look at the patient's airway and see whether or not we need to take any action. The mouth is clear, there's no concern for their neck during the episode, so we can do a head tilt, chin lift, to try and maintain the tongue from falling back in the throat. We can then assess the patient's breathing. We can look, listen and feel the rise and fall of the chest, or expulsion of air. We can then check for capillary refill, pressing for two seconds and looking for a response. If the skin doesn't pink up within two seconds, then the capillary refill time is delayed. And if the patient isn't breathing, we need to apply the AED, the Automated External Defibrillator. Tear open package and remove pads. Peel one pad from plastic liner. Place one pad on bare upper chest. Peel second pad and place on bare lower chest as shown. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. Shock advised. Charging. Stand clear. Push flashing button to deliver shock. Stand clear. Once the shock's been delivered, we need to then start doing cardiopulmonary resuscitation. This means placing our hands in the centre of the chest and compressing about 120 a minute to a depth which is about a third of the patient's chest depth. This will continue for approximately two minutes or until the AED tells you to stop whilst it reanalyzes. <laughs> 